What's up guys, Lifting Nerd here. Today I'm going to give you a quick summary of the most popular areas where players usually spend a good amount of time to level up as fast as possible. Later on in the video I will provide you with a cookie cutter leveling template that can take you from level 1 to level 70 in both a safe and efficient manner. The experience system in Path of Exile will penalize you and give you diminished returns of your experience gain if you're either too overleveled or underleveled for a specific zone. For that reason I will show you the minimum and maximum levels you should stick to for each zone. But that of course does not mean that you should necessarily start farming a zone as soon as you meet the minimum level requirements for that difficulty. While it can be done it would be really dangerous, especially for a hardcore character. To give you an example of this, when a character reaches level 61, he will no longer get diminished returns from farming a level 67 area such as the catacombs or the library. That however does not mean that it is necessarily a good idea as the monsters will be a lot harder to deal with. For that reason I will as I mentioned earlier give you an example of how I would level a character by utilizing these zones listed in the video. I will do this by instructing you as to when I feel it is a good time to farm these areas and when to progress to the next ones based on my experience. Basically, I will give you a leveling template. But let's start with the areas first. And we're going to start in Act 1 and more specifically at the ledge of course. The ledge is one of the absolute most popular areas to farm in Path of Exile. The layout is very simple. You basically run from one end to the other. At the end of the map you'll find the unique zone boss, Kuduku. Make sure you have some lightning resistances if you want to fight this guy in either cruel or merciless difficulty. Depending on the difficulty, the ledge is either a level 7 area on normal, 37 on cruel, 53 on merciless, and in general that would mean that on normal difficulty you can farm the ledge from level 4 to 10, on cruel you can farm the ledge between level 32 to 42, and on merciless you can farm the ledge between level 48 to 59. In general, there's really no reason to farm the ledge on normal difficulty, but if you really want to, here's the level range you should try to stick to. The next area is located in Act 2. It is the Chamber of Sins Level 1. The reason you should farm this area is because of its guaranteed spawns of blue or magic monsters. These monsters will always spawn in a triangle formation, which is dependent of the entrance to Level 2. As you can see on these pictures, the magic monsters will spawn in different locations depending on where the entrance is. There will never be a pack of monsters at the entrance to level 2, but instead they will be in the places where the entrance didn't spawn this time. Besides, it's not too uncommon to find even more packs of magic monsters when farming the Chamber of Sins level 1, thus making this zone ideal for farming. The only thing you need to be aware of is the poison cloud the zombies drop on the ground on death and the unique zone boss Plague Wretch who spawns in the middle of the zone. So keep your eyes on your health pool at all times if you want to fight him. The Chamber of Sins is either a level 19 area on normal, 43 on cruel and 58 on merciless. And in general that would mean that on normal you can farm the Chamber of Sins between level 16 and 23. On Cruel, you can farm it between level 38 and 49, and on Merciless difficulty, you can farm the Chamber of Sins between level 52 and 65. Alright, so now for the third area. In this case, it is in Act 3, and it is the City of Sarn. The layout of the City of Sarn is a basic bottom to top like map. You simply run north from the waypoint until you reach the Sarn encampment. From there, you reset the area and go back outside and start to move towards the waypoint at the bottom of the map. You'll then use the waypoint to take yourself to the Sarn camp and when you're there you'll once again use the waypoint to return to the city of Sarn, rinse and repeat. An additional bonus of the city of Sarn is that on Merciless you'll be able to use the rare items for the Chaos recipe as the item level is now above level 60. One thing you need to be aware of in this area is the unique zone boss purposes. This dude can be very dangerous. He uses ethereal knives, bear trap and whirling blades. The main thing to worry about is his bear trap. This ability can do tons of damage and will hold you in place and make you unable to move while he uses his ethereal knives to further damage you. You should never engage purposes if your defenses isn't optimized. Optimized defenses in this case means that you have a good amount of life, energy shield, armor or evasion. A granite and jade flask is great for this encounter as well. Depending on the difficulty, the City of Sarn is either a level 26 area on normal, 46 on cruel, 61 on merciless, and in general that would mean that on normal difficulty you can farm this area 
between level 22 and 30. On Crawl you can farm the City of Sun between level 41 and 52. On Merciless you can farm the City of Sun between level 55 and 68. Alright, so now to one of the absolute most popular areas in the game, the docks. The layout of the docks can be a little hard to describe compared to some of the previous areas we have talked about. And the best way to describe this area is to ask you to picture a central area with several paths branching outwards. The paths or branches all have appear at the end of the map. At those there will always be a guaranteed blue magic pack of monsters. And it is those packs that contributes to the majority of experience gained in this area. And typically there are between 3 or 4 piers in the docks as far as I know. Depending on the difficulty the docks is either level 32 area on normal, 50 on cruel and 62 on merciless. And that means that on normal difficulty you can farm the docks between level 28 to 37. On cruel you can farm the docks between level 45 and 56. And on Merciless you can farm the docks between level 56 and 69. The next area is the Lunaris Temple level 3, the home of piety. This area is great for farming both experience and items. The layout is pretty random but as a general rule you simply need to run to one of the sides. If you locate stairways taking you up and further away from the middle then you are usually on the right track. You should never go down a stairway. If you do that, you're on the wrong path. Make sure your defenses are optimal before entering this area, as there are a few dangerous mobs in this zone. Among these are the ones that cast vulnerability and the dreaded teddy bitches. The best way to encounter these is by having a life or mana flask of warding, which is the one that dispels curses, and either a high amount of armor or evasion. A jade or granite flask just as with purposes is very useful for these encounters. Even if you can't kill piety, the Lunaris Temple is still a great place to farm experience. There's lots of magic pack monster spawns and the general density of mobs is great. The Lunaris Temple is either level 34 on normal difficulty, 52 on cruel difficulty and 66 on merciless difficulty. And that means that on normal difficulty you can farm the Lunaris Temple between level 30 and 39, on cruel you can farm it between level 47 and 58 and on merciless difficulty you can farm the Lunaris Temple between level 60 and 73. Note that the Lunaris Temple level 2 that you have to progress through to reach level 3 obviously is one level lower than level 3. Alright so the two last areas I'm going to recommend to you guys to farm before reaching maps is the library and the catacombs. These areas are mostly farmed on merciless difficulty as their area level is both 67. Because of that a lot of people farm these areas instead of the low level 66 and 67 maps. In the library you basically run from one end to the other which is the entrance of the library to the entrance of the archives. As soon as you've done this a few times the layout becomes fairly apparent. The catacombs is basically like a really big hole of small corridors and mazes. For that reason you might find yourself having to backtrack a few times and for this area I recommend taking the waypoint to the marketplace, run into the catacombs and when you feel like you've cleared the most of the area use the town portal to get back to town then take the waypoint to the marketplace and start over again. You shouldn't run back to the entrance and waste time to reset the area. Personally I like the library the most as I feel like it's more efficient, there's less backtracking and the monster density is a little better. But I will have to do some testing on this to see if it is actually better. While these areas can be farmed on normal and cruel I would recommend only farming them on merciless. And for that reason I'm only going to give you the merciless level range recommendations. Basically you can farm these areas between level 61 and 74. Alright, so those are the zones I recommend you level in before you start on maps, guys. I'm now going to present to you a leveling template that I feel is both very safe and efficient. So basically, this is how I suggest you level. Listen up. On normal difficulty, you should simply progress throughout the game until you reach the docks. At this time, you should be about level 30 or 32. From that point on, I recommend farming the ducks until you're about level 34 or 35. When you have reached level 34 or 35, you should go kill Piety and Dominus and enter Cruel Difficulty. After you've done this, you will either be level 35 or 36. 
And from here on you should go to the ledge on cruel difficulty as soon as possible. At the ledge I recommend you farm experience until you reach level 40. When you have reached level 40 you should progress and finish act 1. After you have done this you should be about level 41 to 43 and in act 2. In act 2 you should go to the chamber of sins and start farming it until you reach level 45. From there on go ahead and finish act 2. You're now in Act 3 on Cruel Difficulty, and you should be around level 47 to 48. I don't recommend farming the City of Sun on Cruel unless you are below these levels. Instead, go ahead and progress throughout Act 3. If you haven't skipped anything, you should by the time you gain access to the docks be around level 49 to 50. In the docks, I recommend you farm from level 50 to 53. When you reach level 53, go kill Piety and Dominus. Congratulations, you are now on Merciless and in Act 1. While this isn't a gearing guide, let me just quickly give you a tip here. Get your resistances capped before you continue on. Alright, that's the tip. Now let's continue with the leveling guide, guys. As you now stand in Lion's Eyes Watch on Merciless difficulty, you should be about level 54 to 55. From here on, go to the ledge and farm it until you reach level 57. When you have done that, go ahead and finish Act 1. You're now in Act 2 and most likely around level 58 or so. Now go to the Chamber of Sins level 1 and start farming this area until you reach level 60. When you reach level 60, go ahead and complete Act 2. You should now find yourself in Act 3 on Merciless difficulty. Here I recommend you farm the City of Sun until you reach level 61. And as I mentioned earlier, be careful with purposes. Additionally, Remember that the rare items that now drop has a minimum of item level 61 and can therefore be used for the chaos recipe. Okay, when done in the city of Sun, go ahead and progress through Act 3 until you reach the docks. If you haven't reached level 62 by then, go back to the city of Sun until you have. At level 62, you should start farming the docks until you reach level 66. When this is done, it is now time to start farming the Lunaris Temple level 3. So put on your best pair of gear and start killing Piety and her minions in this area for the sweet loot and the sweet experience. Personally, I prefer farming this area until I reach level 70. Killing Piety and getting loot is one of my favorite things in this game and the experience is very good. Additionally, Piety has a 50% chance of dropping maps, so this is also a good way to start building up that map pool you'll be using later on. If you would rather farm the catacombs or the library, I would recommend going there as soon as you reach level 67, which you'll reach by farming the Lunaris Temple. When you reach level 70, I recommend you start mapping. This can of course already be done at level 66, but that's really up to you. I personally prefer piety farming as I said, and it is in general a good idea to build up your map pool before you start relying only on maps as your future content. And that's basically it. And remember guys, you don't have to follow each step specifically as I mentioned them. If you at any time in the game feel like your character is either too weak or too strong, feel free to go back or skip to other zones. Just try to stay within the recommended minimum and maximum level recommendations to be as efficient as possible. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed or learned something from this video. Thank you for watching and bros, do you even nerd?